Mustard Knuckle. Hello everybody, Mustard Knuckle back again, uh, heading out in the AM, at, well let's see, can you guess by the schematic of the tank? Well, never mind. Um, AMX 13, I know, super exciting, everybody's been looking forward to this one, you guys have all been asking for it and asking for it, and I've been like, no, no, and I, you know, I decided to just go ahead and do one, because I know this is the vehicle you all want to see, and I'm telling you right now, if you enjoy, oh, ah, oh. uh, let's finish this, and then I'll finish my thought. And boom, yes. Um, if you enjoy the best AMX 13 videos today, uh, on this specific day that came out on YouTube, if you enjoy it, then I would say subscribe. Uh oh, that guy just got literally lit up. Uh, subscribe, like, comment uh, to this channel. Because this channel is the source today for the best AMX 13 video uh, to come out. Just so we're all clear on that. Here we go. Like I said, it's a French light tank. It does a lot of good stuff. You can do the scouting. You can run fast with it. This is going to be a problem. Uh, okay. I never quite know. Okay. Ah, doggone it. I never quite know how to angle myself. Go for the barrel, but he's... Oh, thank you, teammate. Where did his turret go? His turret blew way high. Alright, so I'm going to smoke while I regroup here. Now, the engine is on the right, so if you're using this thing, uh, part of Tip's history and gameplay here, if you use this thing, you're going to want to try to keep the right side of the tank facing the other team. So if you... Uh, if you're pulling out around a corner or whatever, just try to keep in mind the engine is there because it makes a really good uh, block for, you know, rounds and stuff. So this tank, they started building this thing in the 50s, and they built it all the way almost until the 90s, unbelievably enough. All right, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, yes. No. I target. I do target fixation more than anybody I've ever seen. Target fixation is where you get so focused, I guess since it's a game and I don't have to worry about actually dying, but you get so focused on your target, what you're shooting at, that you'll fly right into a, a wall or the ground or maybe even a building like I just did, stuff like that. Anyway, alright, so they built this thing all the way up into the 90s. The turret was used on like the EBR and I think a couple other vehicles, so it ended up being a pretty good platform. Uh, they upgunned it later on to 90 millimeters, I think, and maybe some different variants in between. But uh, overall, it's a pretty solid little tank. V8 engine, uh, pretty good speed, and then, like I said, it was made with enough versatility to where they could modify the, I guess, the superstructure. The hull stayed basically the same, but the uh, structure on top and the turret, um, they were able to do a lot of different configurations with that. So. To me, that's what is most interesting about these vehicles. It's not necessarily this version of it, but what did this lead to, and, and what was the design, kind of, what did they do while I just drive around here? Oh, I'm ruining these people's yards. Oh, jeez. You know, I know how hard it is to keep a yard looking good. You know, it's not easy, and I just kind of obliterated all this, so sorry to the neighbors. All right, here we go. Um, oh, there's somebody there. Good. Excellent. Alright, it's a T-34. Wow, okay. Well, I'll try to work on that here in a second. I'm not exactly sure what to do right now. Now, we're going to use the speed here later on. We're, I mean, we've already covered some pretty good distance on the map, but we're going to try to make some runs uh, across the map to uh, keep this whole thing rolling, because being a light tank, you don't want to sit in the same spot all the time. you got to move, so... That's, you know, have that in mind. Like, I've already got that in mind. I'm thinking, okay, later on in the game here, I know I'm going to run. Uh, so let's try to be smart about what we're doing here and work on this area while we can and then make a run for it. Now, plan here is I'm going to put this smoke out and then I'm going to get out of this spot because I'm very... You saw he just fired indiscriminately into the smoke. There we go. Good. I didn't have time to mention that guy was coming. Um... That's the funny thing about this, is that, you know, even though 
there's been a lot of talk about arcade versus realistic lately. You know, even in arcade, when you get close to somebody, they can't see you on the map anymore, and you're not highlighted anymore. Like, you still have to know, or you will use some strategery to kind of figure out where they are. Oh, it's crowded over here. Oh, got it. Um, you know, it shows on the map when they're farther out, and like this. But when you're trying to sneak up on somebody, you can totally sneak up on them because when you get into a certain radius of another person, ah, yeah, yeah, my driving is highly suspect today. Highly suspect, I think. Pretty good band. Um, so, yeah, just a point about, you know, the whole realistic versus arcade. I don't care either way. I like this. Other people like other stuff. All good. And I think that we actually had some pretty good conversation about it in the comments on one of these videos. Might have been a short, I don't know. But pretty good conversation. Everybody was civil and understanding of each other's point of view and all that stuff. It was really great. Especially when you consider how crappy people are on the game so frequently with the comments and, you know, all that kind of stuff. When you're actually talking directly to each other and having a civil conversation, everybody was really cool. So I was pretty happy about that. Alright, let's get this guy now. And boom. There we go. Alright, let's take this point. So, you see how far we ran using the speed. We were straight ahead. 12 o'clock on us. Oh, hello. Huh. I've been mounted. Alright. Well, he's really, he's really trying, isn't he? Okay. Alright, uh... Well, I'm just gonna be still and hopefully he'll go away. We'll see what happens. Um... So yeah, we came all the way from over there, to around, and then back the other way, etc. And ended up then capping the point from their side of the deal. Oh, look at that. Not even a scratch. I don't know what kind of paint they use on this thing, but look at that. It's not even scratch. It had a tank climbing all over it. And it looks perfect. Incredible. Incredible. The paint is... Wow. Alright, so let's go shoot something. Or maybe rocket something. I don't know. I got a feeling these rockets are going to be garbage anyway. So I guess we can talk about the AMX-13 a little bit more. So the main thing uh, with it, one of my big takeaways, what I noticed, I'm going to keep killing everything right before I get to it. Shoot here. Ooh. Um, one of the main things that I liked about it when I was reading about it is the... Oh gosh, what do I even go after? This guy? Yeah, this guy. I don't know. I won't get him either. Wow, I'm really doing a great job. We are about to lose this game. We need to, we need to take care of some of this stuff. Looks like we're getting on B now, so that's good. Yeah, okay, we're getting on B. All right. But this is getting tight here. We, this is a, quite a problem here. We don't have... I mean, our little ticket bleed action might even get us. So I'm going to try to run over here and see if I can help out a little bit. Come around behind this guy and surprise him with the speed of the AMX-13. All right, looks good over there. We got to get in here. Yeah, we'll get him in here. No problem. Um, yeah. oh, come on. I just want to get there in time. I don't want him to see me. Now we got to let it stop bucking here. Here we go. All right, sweet. That's going to get us on B now, right? There we go. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, counting down or whatever, but then it didn't start going up. Okay. Wow, we have like no tickets remaining. I don't think we're going to be able to even hold on to this. Just from ble I mean, we if we get one more tick down, people die and stuff like that. That's the end of the game. Anyway, um, my big takeaway on this AMX though is how many variants it turned into. It wasn't just variants from the factory, it was variants all over the world of all these things that different countries adapted this chassis to their use, you know, which is, to me, I mean, that's what's amazing about this vehicle. Not, I mean, there's nothing spectacular about it on its own, but when you take into consideration, you know, what happened as I miss this, there we go, jeez. Um, when you take into consideration, um, when you take that into consideration, not what it started as, but what it kind of finished as, it's pretty unbelievable. I mean, there's other vehicles like the Sherman, of course, the T-34, um, that were turned into all kinds... The Panzers were turned into all kinds of things. 
I don't know if the Panther so much, but the, so basically the Panzer, the T-34, the Sherman, and this AMX-13. Now this AMX-13 though, let's get this guy, was more of a, I don't even know if it ever fought in a war. I don't know if France was involved in Korea or not, but it seems like this would have been around the Korean War time. I can't believe we're holding on to this. This is unbelievable. This is crazy. Um, but I don't know if they were involved. So this thing might not have ever seen any kind of battle, uh, live battle with France. We're going to win this. Holy cow. What a comeback. That's incredible. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. That was a fun game. That was a very fun game. Holy cow. Well, good game. Good game to everybody. Um, anyway, so AMX-13, yeah. it. I'm sure that it's seen some kind of battle somewhere along the way with France and, you know, somewhere around the world where they sent them. But this was all just a little later than the uh, T-34, the Sherman, the Panzer, all that kind of stuff. But, hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, think about subscribing, like, comment, let me know what you think. I forget got to do the mustard method oh well i guess now you have to watch another video to find out what the mustard method is it's fascinating stuff i know best amx 13 video of the day i know it hope you enjoyed it good luck have fun see you in the next one